My early childhood was spent growing up in South Africa. And in fact, the day of the week that I look forward to most was a Sunday. Now, it wasn't because I was ultra spiritual and most excited about going to church, although I did enjoy going to church as well. It was because every Sunday afternoon, the entire family would gather together at my uncle's home in Township. We'd all meet up and share dinner together. With over 30 cousins and aunties and uncles, it was a huge gathering of people. We'd travel from all corners of Durban to just come together to be in that one place. It was really loud with kids running around everywhere and a great time of laughter, great conversation, and of course, amazing food. Oh, how I love those times. Precious moments indeed. When it was time to eat, we'd all gather and take our place around the large tables that were set. On just about every occasion, there'd be friends, neighbours, and some people that I had no idea who they were at all just turn up unexpectedly. And often it would be just as the food was being brought out. Nonetheless, there was always room at the table and a place for them. It felt so good to belong to such a family, a place of safety, acceptance, love, welcome and embrace. A family that really cared for each other and enjoyed deep and meaningful connection, where everyone had a place and the stranger was always welcomed with open arms. It reminds me of the picture described in Luke 13, 29. People will come from the east and west and north and south and will take their places at the feast in the kingdom of God. What a wonderful picture of God's kingdom, where everyone is welcome and has a place at the table. In fact, God has laid out a feast and invites everyone to take their place at it. As we reflect on Refugee Week, we consider that there are more people displaced around the world than ever before in human history. Over 103 million people to date have nowhere to call home. They are without a place at the table and are seeking safety, refuge and a better life. God's intention is for all people from all corners of the earth to find their place in his kingdom. At the table, he has said, it's not designated for a certain type of person. It's not just for the VIPs. It's for all. In fact, when we look at the example and life of Jesus, much of his time was spent with those that were on the margins and fringes of society. The poor, the vulnerable, the outcast. Some might say the refugee. We are to live as followers of Jesus and do what he did. We need to take some time to look into our own hearts as to how we are responding to refugees. Does the table that we set in our hearts have a place for the refugee or the one seeking asylum? Have we opened our hearts and hands towards those refugees in our community that are longing for safety, acceptance, love and embrace? Have we considered the opportunities for us as salvos to sit at the table and share with our brothers and sisters seeking refuge in this land of Australia? I encourage you this Refugee Week to take some time and ask God to expand the table of your heart, to seek out ways in which you can welcome, embrace, connect and can offer the love of Jesus across the refugee community so that all may take their place at the feast in the kingdom of God.